wanted to bring up the thing about using the chain to break down the litter. One of my colleagues at CSIRO in Armidale looked at, a, at um, the fate of litter and the, one of his rules of thumb was if you had standing dry litter he would nominate it had a decomposition value of one say if it's lying down on the ground like this it's got a decomposition value of 10 because it's much closer to the sort of organisms that things like fungi which are going to colonize that that plant material and break it down into simpler compounds so it's assimilated in the soil it's got a value of 10. If you get it buried in the soil it's got an, a decomposition value of 100 because the contact between the soil particles and the litter fragments are, is intimate and every time it wets up then that that those reactions interactions of uh, of fungal breakdown and all, all the other things which go on are, are expedited because there's very close contact between the soil the fungi and the litter so that's taking the, your point um, to with the explanation that I've understood. Now the, the other thing you need to understand is there needs to be the Goldilocks amount of trampling or disturbance. Not too much, not too little. It's got to be just right. Now the question is how do you know what's just right? If, now if you break the litter down too much it'll break up and it'll fragment into little tiny pieces which will blow away and with it goes the soil.